Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome to part number two of Torn. This should have originally been part number three, but I accidentally deleted the footage and so I'm gonna have to tell you guys what happened. And what happened in that video was so crazy, there was so much tea and I literally am so upset that I deleted the video by accident. Let me start by telling you guys what happened. If you see a new little face, Kaylee or Kylie, was born and before kelly was born a lot of crazy stuff happened as you guys can see she is feeling very tense right now because she is still furious she is still upset with Rhett. so i'm gonna tell you guys what happened so they got engaged now they got engaged because Rhett was feeling the pressure of jaylene's parents on his neck Rhett was feeling as though Jaylene's parents were pressuring him into getting married to Jaylene so that they could be married before the baby was born. They are currently engaged. Now, upon getting engaged, Jaylene was super excited and she wanted to plan an engagement dinner. So they went ahead and they planned an engagement dinner and they invited everyone to the engagement dinner. Of course, when they got to the engagement dinner, Brian, who is Jaylene's father, Brian decided that he wanted to make it all about him and decided to cause a scene. I'm telling you, Brian was screaming just as he was in the cafe. He was screaming his head off. Now, Jaylene had told Rhett about the situation in the cafe and how her dad was screaming and making it about him and he ended up leaving. And Rhett was like babe are you sure you want him to be there at the engagement dinner because what if he pulls something like that and she was like you know he's not going to it's just that he was kind of pretty upset about the situation but I think I've managed to talk him down I think mom has managed to talk him down but no Brian shows up and Brian has a hissy fit Brian throws a scene everyone is freaking out and Rhett kicks him out of the engagement dinner at the time that Rhett kicked him out of the engagement dinner, Jaylene was in the bathroom. So she had no idea what was going on. She came out and she was looking for her father and she asked Rhett, Rhett, where's daddy? And Rhett goes, I had to kick him out. He was acting like a maniac. He was screaming and yelling and just going ballistic. He was going nuts. Jaylene got so angry and pissed off at Rhett that she ended up telling Rhett that the baby is not his. She was, they were arguing, they were so upset. Everyone was staring at them while they argued and Jaylene dropped a bomb that the baby is not his. Now the baby is actually Rhett's kid, but she did that to spite him. Rhett ended up feeling so sad that he went to a nightclub and drank himself to stupor. I'm telling you, he drank himself to stupor. He ended up being, he ended up flirting with Sally here. So he ended up flirting with Sally and Sally has a husband, but he flirted with Sally for a bit. And when he kind of moved in to kiss Sally, Sally was like, yo, what are you doing? You know, like, what, what are you doing? He was breaking down, telling Sally about everything that he felt and how upset he was at, at his fiance. And Sally was feeling for him until he decided to move in and make a move and kiss her. And that's when Sally was like, no, 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 no. What are you doing? I have a husband. This is wrong. We shouldn't be doing this. And he realized that he was doing something wrong. He came home. And when he came home, Jaylene was giving birth. Jaylene was literally giving birth right here in front of the door. And he came in there and he held her hand and the baby was brought into this world. Now that they are here, in this morning, this is the day after the baby is born, he is very angry. Baby not mine? Ouch, that hurts. I believe the baby was mine. How awful. He is also feeling like he is missing out from his dreams, which he wants to get married to Jaylene, and he also wants to host a party. We did the party, so I don't know why this never checked off because we actually did the party and then Jaylene is feeling very tense because honesty wins from admitting infidelity it's good to tell the truth even if it costs you someone you love so 
she admitted infidelity, but infidelity with who, Jalen? Because since I've been playing you, I don't see you. You've made out with anybody else or had a relationship with anybody else. The baby belongs to Rhett, but you wanted to spite him and tell him that the baby's not his. Still furious, from feeling furious with someone nearby. Just the sight of someone can fill a sim with rage. Jaylene's fury surges back to the surface when she is around a sim who has done her wrong. Now, the thing is, I don't understand why she's feeling furious about, about him doing her wrong when she was the one that did him wrong. And Rhett being the good parent that he is, is going in here to check on the baby. Now, Rhett would have been bitter. He could have been bitter and just been like, I'm moving out. I don't want to have anything to do with this baby. But seeing the baby in Jaylene's arms last night and just getting to hold the baby and feeling her soft little feet and her soft little hands, it just made him want to be there for this little girl. He's not sure if the baby is his because Jaylene has filled up his head with this nonsense about the baby is not his. And so now he's in a position where he's he's angry at her, but he's also paranoid, he's skeptical. Who has she been sleeping with? And now she's feeling angry at him for thinking like that, but how can you be angry at him for thinking like that when you were the one that filled his head with this belief that the baby was not his? So now they're gonna go ahead and talk about marriage because basically, he wants this to work, you know? He wants to be there for her. He wants to be there for the baby. And so they're gonna go ahead and talk a little bit about marriage. And she's, he's gonna be like, I really think that we should, we should really um, do the wedding, you know? I don't think that we should call it off. Look at how she's looking at him. He's in his phone and she is just looking at him like, you damn it. Bro, this is how I look at my boyfriend. Sometimes when I tell him something and he brushes me off and then goes and uses his phone and I'm just looking at him like this. <laughs> this is perfect. <laughs> this is how I look at my man when he says something that pisses me off and then he's just casually using his phone like he didn't even listen to what he just said. Yeah, that, that, that look on Jaylene's face, that's the look. So they're here talking. Oh my gosh, okay, this conversation is not going the way I want it to go. You can say he's talking about marriage and she she doesn't want to hear it. She's like, no, I don't want to get married right now. He's like, you know what? I, I really don't think that I wanted to get married, but I just don't feel as though... We are in a place where we we could be getting married right now. You know, I'm trying my best here. Their friendship has literally gone all the way down. And at this point, um, oh, what? oh, Jaylene is saying, you know what? I have had enough of you. You need to get out. He threw a drink in her face. You cannot be that angry. You guys, Rhett just threw a drink in Jaylene's face. Oh my goodness. I did not expect that to happen. Right now, he's they're both feeling furious at... They're both feeling furious. So I think Rhett is... We're going to take Rhett. And we're going to split from the household and move. And he is hating to have to do this. But he's going to. This torn is all about Rhett. So this is not about Jaylene. This is about Rhett. And so we're focusing on Rhett and we're focusing on him and his feelings and his emotions. So we're going to split from the household and move. She's like, I don't want you here anymore. You just threw a drink in my face. Are you for real? Are you serious right now? I'm the one that's been paying the bills around here. You haven't been helping out too much. She's like, yo, you moved in with me. What are you talking about? I'm not paying the bills. If you feel like I didn't, I wasn't paying the bills, then you shouldn't have moved in here. Oh my gosh, this argument, this argument is getting out of control. Rhett, walk away. Rhett, Rhett, walk away. Walk away. She's like, yeah, be the man of the, be the man of the hour. She's clapping her hand. Man of the hour. You guys are having an argument. This poor baby is trying to sleep. Oh my gosh. And I feel so bad because now he is going to move and he's going to have to leave the baby. So his kid and we're going to have to move out and we're taking our money. We're not taking all. We're going to take at least 20, 20,000. 
and we're leaving her with 11. That should be enough to take care of the baby. We will come and check on the baby ever so often, but they are not going to be living together, you guys. I think calling off the engagement would be what's best because it was like a lot of pressure from both sides. It was pressure from his parents, from his mom, you know, to adhere and do the right thing. It was pressure from, so I think I'm going to have him go and live with his mom. It was pressure from his mom telling him to adhere and do the right thing. It was pressure from Jaylene's father constantly ringing into his ear that his baby girl needs this and that and the rest. It was pressure from Jaylene. It was pressure from his friends. It was just so much pressure. I also had to switch them over to the same save file. So the previous issue that I had, if you guys watched, um... The royal legacy i did explain the issue so i think his mom lives in newcrest so i'm gonna have him go and spend time with his mom he's gonna move in with mama and we're not gonna be playing with mom and with the baby we're we're just gonna have them as um household npcs and she's just going he's just gonna be living with his mom until he can kind of get on his two feet and um make things work out so right now things are not looking too good this situation just got blown out of proportion i never thought that Rhett had a violent bone in his body and the fact that he threw a drink in jaylene's face just shows that he has anger issues and he has things that he needs to work on okay so now he's feeling very very angry he's gonna go ahead and he is going to talk to his mom so she's basically like, honey, what are you doing here? Why, why are you here with your bags? So he's going to go ahead and talk to his mom. And she's like, honey, what are you doing here? It's like, mom, things, things went down at the house and I need a place to stay. I need to stay with you for a little bit. He's like, she's like, what's going on? I thought everything was so good at the engagement dinner. And he's like, mom, I honestly... I don't think I want to get married to Jaylene. She's like, honey, no, what's going on? You were so happy. What happened? So now he's going to go ahead and tell his mom about it. No. Rhett, you are off the rails. You did not just throw a drink in your mother's face. She, she's feeling playful, though. Rhett, what are you doing? It's like, honey, I'm so disappointed in you. I can't believe... Red, no, what is going on with you? Baby, what is going on with you? I can't believe you, Red. No, I can't believe you right now. You guys, Red literally just told his mother, I am done with you. I think what happened was he came over, he was explaining to his mom what happened, and... Instead of her kind of consoling him, she kind of just told him, like, you see, this is why I'm always telling you that you need to just act like a grown man and stop acting like a child. So he explained the whole situation about how he kicked his mom. Okay, he kicked Jaylene's dad out. And then he got home. Jaylene told him that the baby's not his, yet he sees the baby. The baby looks like him. He walked out. He wants to move in with her. Mom is just like, no, you need to go back there and you, you need to make things right with her. You can't just walk out because you've had one bad situation with your girlfriend, with your fiance, and you're just going to walk out and expect to live here under my roof. Like, what is wrong with you? Are you okay? Are you serious right now? And he's like, Really? I come over here expecting that my mother would have my back and she's here yelling you're you're on her side, you're taking her side and she's she was just like I'm not taking her side but I want my son to be responsible. I don't want you to bring a kid into the world and for that kid to have to go through visits with daddy and visits with mommy. What I didn't raise you like this. And so she, he just he just denounced their friendship and now she's feeling absolutely heartbroken and he's like honey she's like honey please just let's go inside let's talk about this everything is going to be fine and he's like no no you just took her side oh my god you guys i think um i think he's gonna have to go find somewhere else to live so once again we have to split and move from the household because Rhett is out of control right now you guys Red is out of control. 
she just told him, I don't want you here. Since you want to be like that, go find somewhere else for you to be. With the money left over from Rhett's little split from Jaylene and the issues going on with him and his mom, he decided that it was best if he just found a place for him to live by himself. And he was able to acquire this little ruddy apartment in Moonwood Mill. It is not the best. I tell you guys, this place is filthy, but it is where we are going to be spending some time until Rhett can kind of get his attitude and his demeanor together. Usually it's Jaylene that's doing the cooking, but for right now, he's going to have to be doing that for himself. So I'm going to have him go ahead and serve up some grilled cheese sandwiches. He is feeling extremely upset to the point where he has thrown drinks in not only Jaylene's face, but also in his mother's face, which I was kind of disappointed in Rhett for doing. But you guys, Rhett does have paranoia and the paranoia really gotten to him to the point where, you know, he literally, he literally just couldn't take it anymore. He really wants to get married to Jaylene, but right now it just looks like things are not going to work out and his fear his one fear is going to happen. He is not going to get married to Jaylene. And honestly, I feel so bad for him. He loves her. She loves him. But they both are at a place where the friendship is just not what it is supposed to be. And that is leaving that is leaving Rhett in a a very bad place. So he doesn't really like cooking because he doesn't like that. Whatever he cooks just comes out like garbage so he just doesn't like cooking there's also a pizza on here um which we can either throw away pack it to a son sack lunch or put away it doesn't look like we can eat this pizza this pizza is probably the most disgusting thing because it's it just i don't know it just looks disgusting it, it utterly it looks utterly disgusting so i might just have to have him throw that away because why is there an old pizza on <laughs> Why is there an old pizza there? I was actually going to have him keep that, but yeah, there's an old pizza. Just disgusting. Look at this, guys. There's like holes in the floor. There's like old newspapers here. There's a bucket, which means the roof is probably leaking. He doesn't have a curtain. He has a tarp that's covering the window right now. And it's just, oh, it's just filthy. So right now he's just feeling very, very sad. I'm just going to have him go ahead and take a nap because it's not his best moment. It is not his best moment. He's feeling sad. Purpose of life from fear of unfulfilled dreams. What agency? Let me read that again. What agency? Oh, Brianna is calling him. Hey, Red, I think I have a crush on Gavin Richards. Do you think it's worth a try? You think about it for yourself. He's honestly just not in a mood to make any decisions for anyone right, right now. So he's just very upset. He's angry. He's sad. He's miserable. What agency does Rhett really even have? What he wants to do always feels out of reach, replaced only with an overarching directive of what he has to do. And honestly, I can understand where you're coming from, Rhett. You just feel as if everything is just thrown in your face. You just feel as though... The things that you want to do, you can't get to do. But it's not my fault that you're making these poor decisions. I didn't tell you to throw drinks in your girlfriend's face. I didn't tell you to throw drinks in your mother's face. But you did anyways, right? So that's on you, big bro. That's on you. So right now, he's, he's just feeling so, so angry you guys he's feeling so angry is there anything in this neighborhood that we can do i'll probably have him go out for a jog there's this chick here abby underwood i think we're gonna go ahead and give abby here a nice little hello he's so angry please do not throw any drinks don't throw any more drinks Rhett, because i cannot deal with that you're just throwing drinks in everyone's faces and i cannot deal so we need to find a way for him to kind of get over his anger travel to peak maybe going up here and just kind of screaming your head off would be the best thing for you to do take a deep breath i also think that your sims can go swimming over here if i'm not too sure so yes they can so maybe i might have him swim around and no it's too cold out to do that i might have him do some fishing once he goes up to the peaks 
I might just have him kind of do a little bit of fishing. And it looks like this chick just um kind of left. She's also pregnant. So that's something. I don't know. When is this going to... Seven more hours. He is still trying to get over that anger from Jaylene telling him that the baby's not his. And honestly, now I kind of feel as though Rhett is not going to want to have any... He just came up here. He just came up here and went back down. Rhett is not going to want to have anything to do with the baby. And it's his kid. And I know you guys are probably saying, no, don't let him do that. But it is the storyline and it is what it is. If he has the want to speak to Kylie, then I will let him do it. But it it is up to Jaylene to convince him otherwise that the kid is his. Maybe do a DNA test or something. But the fact that she even just came out and told him that the kid is not his has really put this paranoia in his head where now he can't even trust her. And if she was to indeed go out and get a um a test with the kind of paranoia that he suffers from who's to say that he's going to even believe the dna test i mean it's a dna test for crying out loud you have to believe it not red red doesn't believe anything you know he's very skeptical he's very very skeptical today is just not his day it's just not his day it's not looking good at all he's not feeling good at all he just wants to he just wants to go somewhere and just not be seen or heard look at this little trailer over here he just wants to escape you know he wants to escape he wants to there is actually a working mill in moonwood mill at some point i think that's what this thing had said right and then where are the werewolves i kind of i would love for him to get into some sort of an icky mess you know like become a werewolf or something but I'm not too sure, I'm not too sure how that's going to work out. And I also made changes to a lot of the lots, so I don't see how it's going to work out, you know, him being a, him turning into a werewolf or something. I'm actually planning on having him, like, just hang out with, like, a really bad crowd, but I don't know how that's going to turn out. Let's go ahead and visit this restaurant here, and let's go by ourselves. I don't know, maybe he... You know what? No. Maybe he mightn't go to the restaurant. I think he's just going to kind of spend some time down here by himself and just trying to clear his head and do a little bit of fishing. Maybe the fishing will actually try, will actually help because you guys, a lot has happened. He's like, really? This tiny ass fish? I went out here fishing and that's what I caught? Also, he is losing control. Oh my gosh, my sim is in control either he gets his way or nothing at all dude you can't be angry at me i never told you to throw drinks in nobody's face you did that so now you have to deal with the repercussions of your actions maybe you need to call jaylene and you guys need to kind of sit down and work on it he's gonna send her a text why are you dressed like a chicken oh wait <laughs> I think he's going to work, you guys, and he's dressed like an angry bird. I <laughs> he is dressed like an angry bird. Did I just say that? <laughs> he is a llama corn, but it looks like a bird from the back. So he's an angry bird. Oh, that just made me laugh. <laughs> Anyways, you guys, this episode is crazy. At least the bad mood that has gone away. I think him I think him going to work kind of just was what he needed to clear his head. So he is now back to the moment where he's feeling happy about the new baby. You know? He's feeling good. So right now he's actually very tired and he's also needing to take a shower and stuff like that. So I'm going to actually have him take a brisk shower and then he's going to head off to bed. And we're going to end off this episode right 
here you guys let me know what you think in the comment section down below this guy has been out of control he's just been angry at everyone and everything and who can blame him you know imagine being invested in the birth of your kid only for your significant other to then tell you that the child does not belong to you of course you're going to be upset and then expect it to go over to your parents house and for your mom to take the side of your fiance and not yours makes him feel so much more paranoid so much more betrayed so much more loss at a loss for words so at least he's feeling energized and he's not feeling so angry anymore but now when he looks at his life and he looks at where he is i mean look at this dank apartment now that he's looking at his life and he's looking at this little house that he managed to rent he's just thinking wow it can't get any worse than this Anyways, I want to thank you guys so much for coming by and checking out my channel. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. What do you guys think is going to happen next? Should Rhett leave or should he try to make it up with his fiance? Let me know what you guys think in the comment section and I will see you guys next time. Bye guys.